Alright, this is five hours into dosing. Right now, I just turned the lights on, just for a few. But, yeah, those are my dead giveaways right there. See that? It's alright. Um, I don't mind turning on the lights for a couple hours in the evening. SPS are fine. The polyps are out. Um, because they're going to have a reduced lighting, uh, it's probably good to feed more. You can tell. Look at my zoe is closed up. Bird's nest doesn't look too bad. Duncan closed up, irritated as hell. It's normal. Wow, you look angry. I mean, he's stressed out for some reason. It's probably because I just turned on the, the lights. Wow, you are stressed out. I'll just give him a few. Maybe feed him. And that pearl berry was covered with, uh, on the tip, with some dinos. Uh, red planet. Uh, glow stick. Set of set of so. Hyperberry. Uh, hyperberry doesn't look too bad. It's a Battle de Fuego. PC Rainbow. Green Slimer. Sky Doppel. Aquas D Rainbow, Eddie's Purple Monster, Refrap Avatar, uh, Northwoods, um, uh, some berry, I can't remember, uh, Shortcake, that's what it is, Rommel, Joe's Rainbow, Rainbow Mango, Stevie Clam, this guy, if you look on the tip, he died back. You can see he's got like a gray tip. And unfortunately, my blues are not helping. Let me see if I up this a little. Yeah, it's not, it's not doing anything. Yeah, his tip is done. Oof. You gotta be careful about that. And this guy. Back here. You see, he's all fuzzy. That is the ugliest Millie I have ever seen in my life. Spanbo. This guy lasted through my last um, peroxide bombing. So did he. He's just, these guys are just now coming out. I got a little bit of uh, bubble algae. Anyways, let's see. I'm looking. One thing I did notice is that Asterina stars uh, started to come out. Like everywhere. Uh, cranberry. Oh. Decided to chill out? I'll feed you in a minute. I got Asterina stars here. Looks like every single Asterina star decided to come on out when I started dosing peroxide. Ah, in the cleaner shrimp. This guy's the one you gotta look out for. If he dies, you're dead. And my temp is down to 77. That's where we're at. Right now, it doesn't look devastating because, oh man, it's even on a bad glass. Where the hell? I don't know, maybe they're trying to get out. Oh well. Um, so right now, nothing looks too bad. Ah, uh, this is a stringy thing. 
See that? Those little strings. Ah, oh, I hate that. Anyways, I'm gonna let this go for a couple days. But for now, I'm gonna let the lights do its night cycle thing. Um, I'm not too worried about it. A lot of people say turn out the lights. Uh, I've handled it enough where my lights will probably be back to normal in no time. So um, I'm not gonna cover this thing in a cardboard box. Um, in fact, I'm gonna start, I'm gonna document this. This is gonna be highly experimental, but um, I'm going to uh, turn on my lights. The, initial, the first day, I wanted to turn the lights off um, because I didn't. I wanted the peroxide to catch up and kill what dinos it could before I had the lights on. So um, now that I think that the peroxide is caught up and it's doing its job, I mean, these guys have been closed all the time. He's trying to come back out. Um, I'm going to turn, I'm gonna let the lights go how they usually go with the understanding that tonight it's going to be dosing all night so in the morning I should be able to keep everything going just as usual but I'm going to have the peroxide on for at least a month or two um, we'll see how it works tomorrow uh, with the experiment <laughs>